Tenetato Katoa, good evening. Winston Peters' election rally has been stormed by a protester in Gisborne who called his supporters racist and accused him of bad-mouthing Māori. Race was a key element in last night's News Hub Leaders debate and as Lloyd Burr reports, a key target in a race relations speech by Chris Hipkins today. A challenge to New Zealand first on who came to New Zealand first. This local Māori woman confronting him over his claim Māori are not indigenous to New Zealand. His mind is eventually coming to his aid. The protester eventually leaving, although not before having abuse hurled at her. Race relations is a key element of this election and a key element of the Peters playbook, which his party's following. This is his Rangi Tata candidate Robert Ballantyne speaking about Māori at a meeting in Timaru. Cry if you want to, we don't care, you've pushed it too far. And we're the party with the cultural mandate and the courage to cut out your disease and bury you permanently. Chris Hipkins put that quote to Christopher Luxon at last night's News Hub leaders' debate. You to party do you think that's racist? Coming to power in three do you think that's racist? I do. I don't think that's acceptable so at all. So why are you willing I to don't think that's sitting around the cabinet at table? At News Hub called Valentine to ask him about his comments. He referred us back to his leader. Do you think the comment is racist? No, of course it's not. The people who are saying that... It is racist. They are the ones who are racist. Winston not just defending, but doubling down. Hipkins scaling up, using a speech in Kawakawa to blast race baiting. We've seen leaders who see anti Māori positions as vote winners. They reach out to New Zealanders through one liners like one system for all, putting the narrative that Māori somehow are getting things that other New Zealanders aren't. That's a dig at Luxon, who wants to abolish the Māori Health Authority and repeal Three Waters. You're accusing Luxon of race baiting, essentially, right? Well, I'm certainly accusing the Collective National Act, New Zealand First, potential coalition of doing that. So, so, is, so is, is Luxon race baiting? Well, he's certainly not calling it out. I disagree completely. I mean, I, I, Chris, Chris Hipkins is a desperate guy in a desperate situation. He's turned the debate into a very negative one and a personal one. Are you and your party um, race baiting? Oh, of course we're not, and that's the kind of stuff that race that racist do. That racist vitriol has been particularly prevalent here in Northland. Labour's Willow Jean Prime targeted with some pretty feral behaviour. Whenever I said a te, te reo Māori word, like puku, for full tummies, lunches and schools, I was shouted at. When I said Aotearoa, the crowd responded, it's New Zealand. An experience she's had at a number of candidate meetings. That is racism coming from the audience. Waitangi National Trust Chair Peter Tipani drawing parallels to Trumpism. I think we're heading in the direction of what I hear is happening in the United States. Labour pitching itself as the party to stop it taking root. Lloyd Bird, News Up.